I'd like to start a small pendulum series for everybody who's interested. What is a pendulum? Well, it's a small weight that's suspended on a chain. And even you can use a cord or a bit of string or even a necklace. A lot of times people would use a string with their wedding rings. And this can be used as a pendulum as well. You can find various ones online. That's where I've gotten mine. And you can order them and see if this, if you order like a precious stone or something, you want to see if it works for you. It really doesn't matter as long as the pendulum talks to you. Now, how do you ask whether or not the pendulum is going to talk to you, right? The best thing you want to do is ask, is this pendulum in harmony with me? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's moving forward and backward, which is my sign for yes. So now we're going to get into how do you know what's yes, what's no? Everybody's different. And even if you live in the United States and you move to New Zealand, your yes, your no, and your need more information may actually change. So you want to calibrate it to yourself every time you're in a new place, even a new state. You can charge your pendulum when you first get it. A lot of times I'll run mine through some sage smoke or I have something up here called sage mist and it's just a spritzer and you can sage your pendulum in this way. Be careful with semi-precious stones. Sometimes they're water soluble so they may disappear. Now you can also lay these on your windowsill in the full moon to get the effect of cleansing them. To charge them, you simply hold them in your hands and you can say a prayer or you can ask that the divine light surround this pendulum and surround me. The love of the divine enfolds me, the power of the divine protects me, and the presence of the divine watches over me. Wherever I am, the divine is and all is well. I charge this pendulum to be used with my highest good and with my highest self. And that's it. Pretty simple. Now, you want to know, what is your yes and what is your no? You're going to ask your pendulum some simple information that you already know. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, wouldn't you be moving the pendulum? When you're new to this, prop your elbow on a table and suspend your arm just like this. Just a little bit. You can even hang it over your finger if that feels more comfortable to you. But prop your elbow. You're less likely to jerk. Now, you're going to move because your higher self will use your nerves and your nerve systems will make your hand quiver. So let's try that. Show me a clear sign for yes. And mine is very, very calibrated and it's swinging very big in the yes position and I'm not moving my hand at all. So you wanna stop your pendulum. Show me a clear sign for no and it's going back and forth and that is my sign for no. Show me a clear sign for needs more information. And you'll see mine already starts to move because <laughs> it simply is very very calibrated to me. Mine is going in a, in a clockwise circle that tells me that I haven't given my pendulum enough information to be able to give me a proper yes or no. So go ahead and do that with your pendulums right now Hang them, set your elbow on a table, and dangle them over just like this. Okay. So once you have your yes and your no figured out, what do you do now? A lot of people will say, mine just isn't moving. No matter how much I ask, it's just doing this. And that's okay. You just haven't really made a connection to your pendulum yet. For new students, I'll even ask you to start spinning it. Make it spin with your motion. And as you see, I've got mine going in a very large circle. Now ask, show me a clear sign for yes. And you might have to wait a few minutes for it to get out of its cycle, but you will see mine <laughs> completely swings in a humongous yes position. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go the other way with my swing. Show me a clear sign for no. And you're going to have to wait because it's got to stop its momentum. And it'll eventually get to a point. 
if it doesn't make you dizzy first, where it will go to the <laughs> go to the no and as you can see I don't know if you can see this but it's going in the no direction so if, if you can't get yours moving go ahead and swing it while you're asking now how do you ask and that I will get to on my next lesson thanks <laughs>